welcome. This is the Science and Engineering Fair of Metro Detroit and also the Michigan Science Fair. We are showcasing the top students for the Metro Detroit area and today showcasing the top students from the entire state of Michigan. I've been judging here 23 years now. And every year it's great to come down and see the wonderful projects, and see the fact that there's so many kids who really love the field of science and engineering and are looking forward to make it, uh, making it uh, a great career. It's kind of fun to come and judge again, but it is a little disappointing to see that there's uh, we're quite a bit down on the number of displays that are here. I've been judging for about 11 years. Judges, again, if you have not checked in with your chief judge, please do so. Say, okay, out of this blue category, how uh, are these the ones that we want? This is Tom Miller. I'm now working for Raytheon. I'm down here at the Science Fair today. I have been involved with the Science Fair since 1962. Initially, it was uh, the, the, each county in the Tri-County area had their own fair. And it was, I was out at Lawrence Tech and we had the uh, fair out there for Oakland County. And, uh, after a couple of years, they combined them all for them and went down here. Kathy, I'm at the Metro Detroit Science Fair for about the 27th year of my life. It is a wonderful fair. Try to get more kids involved in this science stuff and it'll be even better. Well, this is the third time I've come to one of the science fairs. I think it's a privilege to be here, meet the students, uh, judge what they are doing, and every time I learn something new. There's nobody here. of waxes on downhill skis and what I did was slid an ice block down this slope and as it went down the hill it went underneath the trigger and it gives you time. So I am um, for my experiment I'm taking a look at the effects of sterilization using a one atmosphere cold plasma uh, basically, I built a generator to make a cold plasma, and then I'm using that to sterilize petri dishes, and I found that it's a very effective way of sterilizing bacteria. This is my first time, first time entering it, um, and I'm loving it down here. Um, my project is about high efficiency unity power factor uh, battery chargers. Um, I did some analysis of um, battery chargers and current designs and how they work and I also present a new design that seems to work a bit better. Students are going to start judging and a the ratio is a planetary nebula. Constant. And, uh, through our various comparisons to control objects are yeah, We teamed up on the mathematical part as far as like uh, getting the statistical data and the standard deviations for our charts over there. We use the IFAS, MASH and the Chromebook catalogs to pick all of the images that we need. I worked on the paper and um, just did our introduction and procedure of materials and got that information. We use from now until 9 o'clock is for our judge orientation. Judging is a very complex process. It involves uh, the knowledge of the judge as well as the, uh, the student's ability to explain what they've done. 
it's very important to make sure that we are always encouraging these young men and women to a track of math and science because that's what we need today. since my daughter started in sixth grade. She'll be 30 this year and I love it because I think our children are worth it and they're all winners. Read the yellow cards, okay? Uh, bring the yellow cards up here. I believe that my project is the future of solar panels. I believe that it will change the way we produce energy and it will save the environment. We want to thank all of our contributors, all of our volunteers, all of our judges for spending all the time necessary for putting on this event. This year we want to thank especially the auto companies and in particular Toyota for taking the lead sponsorship role in funding the science fair. Hi, I'm Steve Brown. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. This is my 25th year in judging the uh, science and engineering fair.